What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Astronaut and in this video I am going to be talking about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Um, I have an article that I want to share with everyone from eventhubs.com that gives us the exact performance of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite by the end of 2017 and it also lets us know exactly how many units shipped. Uh, Capcom managed to sell a whopping 1 million units but according to financial records that Capcom released today, um, the 1 million units actually just barely allowed the company to break even on the title. But for those of us who are in the gaming community, we already know exactly why this game did not perform very well and that was largely due to the absence of the X-Men. Um, I personally think it was a very bold move on the part of Capcom to attempt to launch this game without the X-Men and to have an assumption that it might somewhat mimic the success of the past installments. Maybe they thought the fans would just kind of overlook or just easily dismiss the X-Men not being in the game, but apparently according to the sales, that was not the case. But I would like to go on, go on and move uh, move on to the article that I have. I want to share that with you guys, and then I'm going to come back with my commentary. Um, the title of this article is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Shipped 1 Million Units in 2017, and the article was written by Steven Chavez. It goes on to say, Capcom's latest financial report has been released, and with it comes an update on the sales of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. According to the latest numbers, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite shipped 1 million units within the 9 months ending on December 31st, 2017. The game saw its official release on September 19th, meaning a little over 3 months are being taken into account here. The 1 million mark includes uh, units worldwide uh, placed on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, as well as digital sales on these platforms. Capcom notes that though Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers remains a smash hit, Marvel Infinite sales were on the soft side. In this business, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard and Monster Hunter Double X Double Cross, Nintendo Switch version, performed strongly in addition to Ultra Street Fighter 2 The Final Challengers for Nintendo Switch becoming a smash hit, the report states. Meanwhile, sales of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which was launched in September of 2017, targeting the European and US markets, tended to be soft. Um, despite the lower sales of Mar uh, Marvel Infinite, Capcom's game business held strong throughout the 9 month period. The company saw an 8.5 increase in net sales in this department and a 328.2% jump in operating income. In the fourth quarter of the financial, uh, excuse me, of the fiscal year, ending March 31st, 2018, Capcom is aiming for an aggressive sales campaign. This will be led by their flagship title, Monster Hunter World, which just recently saw an official release. We haven't heard much about Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite since the Battle for the Stones finals at Capcom Cup in early December. The game recently saw a small patch that fixed several bugs and removed the, turn uh, the turnaround unblockables, but outside of that, things have been silent. Marvel Infinite saw the release of its first six DLC characters with the latter three, Venom, Winter Soldier, and Black Widow, launching shortly before the tournament finals. Fans are wondering if there will be continued support for the game, and the, report, and the, and the reported soft sales aren't boding well with Infinite's future. Alright guys, that concludes the article, and as you can see, um, the uh, article went on to say that the sales for the games were on the soft side, which basically said that basically um, Capcom is just barely getting by with probably making back the investment that they made in the game, and that's really not good. I think um, the sales are definitely going to directly affect whether the company is going to continue to support the game for the upcoming months. Whether they had future DLC characters planned or not, um, we it's really sketchy as of as uh, as for right now. Whether or not we will continue to see more DLC characters, and as far as the X Men being possibly included in the DLC characters, I think that's completely out of the picture. Um, in an earlier video that I had done, I did entertain the idea that since Disney had reacquired the rights to the X-Men, there was a strong possibility that the X-Men may reappear in Infinite as DLC characters, but I think it's safe to say at this point it um, that's probably not going to be the case. I don't really know if the X-Men would even be able to salvage this uh, particular installment from the slump that it's kind of in. And to be honest, I think if they were to feature the X-Men, I think they need to really give the X-Men a fighting chance with a brand new new title from scratch and either try to start working on Marvel vs. Capcom 5 or maybe even entertain the idea of releasing a collection of other X-Men related games such as X-Men vs. Street Fighter or X-Men Children of the Atom or the, uh, the infamous Marvel vs. Capcom 2 once again. So, um, but I am a big fan of the X-Men. I really was shocked that they decided to launch this title Infinite without the X-Men. 
Um, and I'm just hoping that uh, Capcom can kind of learn from their mistakes in this situation and make the best of it. Um, I, everyone still loves the X-Men and I think everyone is still rooting to have a really good solid title where they can play as their favorite characters again like Wolverine and Storm and whatnot. And I'm just hoping that um, uh, Capcom can really come up with a really good roadmap to kind of kind of guide them out of this kind of dark spell of what's going on with Infinite and kind of get them back on some really good footing, um, regain the trust of the fans, um, and give the gamers really what they want. And for me, being a gamer, I think I speak for all gamers when I say we really want the X-Men back. <laughs> Anyways, um, guys, before I end the video, I would also like to say that I did start uh, and uh, I did do an announcement for an iTunes giveaway. And all the details to the iTunes giveaway are in my uh, my live stream labeled Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite with X-Men. So if you see that video, it should be the video immediately before this one. In the description box below, I do give all the information that you need in order to participate to get one of those three gift cards that I'm giving away on, Fe uh, excuse me, on February the 2nd. So if you're interested in that, please check out that particular video, that live stream video. Click on the description box to expand it, and it has all the rules, all the questions that that I have listed for people to answer are all uh, Mortal Kombat trivia related. So if you're a Mortal Kombat fan, there's a good chance you may already know the answer to those questions. And um, and a person, all, all they have to do, all they have to do is just take those answers and go to my Twitter account and post the answers. And um, and whoever is the first person to give me the correct answers um, by uh, after 10 p.m. on uh, February the second, which is this Friday, they will win. The, um, one of the cards so three people will win in total um, I'm not gonna give one person all three cards so if that interests you please please um, check that out I really want to give back I've I made it to like close to 1500 subscribers and I'm very very thankful for that and I really want to give back to uh, my subscribers to people who I followed to people who have been visiting all along and um, I just want people to know that I am aware of their effort um, and, their, and the time that they're taking to come by and either join my live streams or leave comments on my videos and just show some support for my page. And also my Twitter page is up now. You can uh, visit it at twitter.com slash astronaut in peril, A-S-T-R-O, -A um, N-A-U-T, the letter N, P-E-R-I-L. I'd be glad to see you as a follower, um, and I'm just trying to increase more uh, community on my channel. Alright guys, that's it for me. I will see you on the next video. Astronaut out.